Alright, hey y'all, what is up, and welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 2 Let's Play Pleasant View. So today we are back with the Caliente slash Lothario family. In the last part uh, with this family, we had them move in together, and in the last part with the Dreamer family, I actually confirmed that <laughs> Miss Nina is indeed pregnant. She should be due any second now. I believe we'll see her give birth in this part. She's taking a nice little bubble bath right now and she's super tired so we're gonna have her go and take a little nap. But anyways, in the last part with uh, Nina, she actually trapped Dawn. Uh, she lied to him, you know, oh well, yeah, I'm on birth control. Oh, wait, I don't know what happened. I really don't like I guess they just stopped working surprise <laughs> um, but we know that Nina is in love with Dawn she's been in love with Dawn since they were kids since they were really really young we know that um, through Sims wiki I think that's something I read that they have known each other since they were kids so she has always been in love with Dawn and we know that Dawn is a Casanova he's a little player and while I'm very impressed that right now he's only committed to Nina. He ended things with Dina. Obviously, he left Cassandra at the altar. Um, his date didn't go very well. I think we, yeah, we did go on a date with Mara, but it, nah, it kind of flopped. And he ended things with Kaylin, or actually, he caught her cheating with Daniel. I believe that's what happened. So, yeah, things things are not going too well for him as far as the fact he's a player and he still has those needs to woohoo with like five different sims but right now he is committed faithfully to Nina which is very impressive <laughs> but yeah I think we're gonna have him oh my gosh stop freaking out over the roaches why don't we just pick up this can I'm pretty sure Kaylin was the one that came and kicked this over I guess she's kind of pissed off at him I'm assuming that's who it was because that's the only person he's kind of in the negative relationship with, but also could have possibly been Cassandra, but it looks like their relationship's not too bad, surprisingly. Um, so let's spray these little pests here, and looks like we got some bills. Oh yeah, by the way, I did go ahead and upgrade their house. I believe last time I just had upgraded the living room. We didn't have that much money, but we did earn some funds when Dawn moved in. So let me show you what I did to the place. I just kind of updated it, made it a little bit more modern to fit the little condominium style. So I gave them a very nice computer, a um, little bookshelf. I completely redid their kitchen and their dining and then upstairs I redid their bedroom I think um, I actually did that in the last part but I was able to add a little in stand in stand night stand with a little lamp here and then I gave them some new appliances in their bathroom and then of course this will be the nursery for the baby once it is born I'm not even gonna go through the struggle of decorating the nursery until I find out if it's a boy or a girl but fingers crossed it's a girl okay Dina what are you doing? <laughs> okay, it is confirmed. It is Dina. Literally stealing our newspaper right in front of us. And he caught her. And he's like, hey, get back here. Oh my gosh, that is so weird. Okay, go ahead and pay the bills. I mean, if you want it, go ahead and take it. Because, you know, it just, it just piles up here. And it's something for me to throw away. So, thanks for helping me out here. Uh... I don't know why she's still so pissed off at him. Or is she pissed off at her sister? Oh, yeah. That did happen, didn't it? I had, yeah, I had Dina catch, oh, my God, I, I get so confused. I had Dina catch Nina and Dawn kiss. Remember when they went shopping? And so she's mad at her sister. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, but look at him petting his dog. I can see him being a dog's a dog man. You know, dog man. I can see him having a pet dog. Tiffany's really cute. I don't even remember. In The Sims 2, can you, can you, um, like, adopt her this way? Give her love? I don't know. Let's just stroke her a little bit. Maybe if we have, like, a relationship with her, I have to look into that. We can possibly... Uh, adopt her but yeah I definitely want to get them a dog because I can just see him having a dog but I think we probably well no she can probably sleep for a little bit longer like I said she should be giving birth any second now all right so we're gonna have Nina go ahead and wake up and 
probably just gonna watch some TV, get her fun up a little bit. And I love how this dog is still in our house and completely destroying it. We've already lectured her a few times for destroying the furniture. Now she's getting soaking wet, playing in the puddles. And it is raining right now. I am crossing all my fingers and all my toes that this is just rain and not a thunder and lightning storm. Like when I was trying to play the dreamer family and lightning kept striking every tree and everybody kept freaking out. It was just horrible. I hope this is not something that's going to happen because I can't deal with it. Honestly, I just, I can't do it. Oh my God. Did she come back over here and kick our trash can down again? Because I swear to you. Oh, the phone's ringing. I don't have my volume up. I can't hear it. But Don's ahead of the game. Hey, Don, is Nina available to talk? No. He's like, who the hell are you? Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure that's the burglar. Yep, and it was the burglar. <laughs> I wonder why he's calling, but Don definitely gave him a run for his money. Don't call back here again, son. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, okay, this dog. Can we make this dog leave, chase off? I don't know. I kind of don't want to chase him off, but... Because I kind of want him to stay. Oh, Don. Really? You're going to come out here and splash around in your underwear? <laughs> Cute. Men will be men, right? Oh, my God. A skunk. Okay, there is just so much going on right now. Stinky skunk. Yes. Okay, go pick up the freaking trash. I swear to goodness, if Dina comes back over here and knocks my trash can down again, I'm going to throw hands. I ain't afraid to fight a woman. I'm not. Alright, he's a little stressed out. He's got a baby on the way. And a bunch of fools keep calling him. And Dina keeps stealing his paper and knocking his trash can over. It's ridiculous. But, okay, who has the most cooking skill? Because I need somebody to cook. Pretty sure both of you are freaking useless. Okay, um, I'm going to have her study some cooking because... Oh... I thought, for a second, I thought he was about to fart <laughs> the way he was bent over like that. But anyways, yeah, y'all are both useless, so maybe I can call, can we order a pizza? Maybe, we're just waiting on this baby to be born, that's kind of my goal for this part here with Don and Nina, but they're both hungry, and I did learn, that's what I was trying to say, that if you have more cooking skill, you can cook better meals, then it gets your hunger up a lot faster and stays up a lot faster. Whereas if you're just cooking like macaroni and cheese, then um, it's just it's not doing you any really good. You're still going to be hungry. But I don't see a pizza anywhere on here. Can you not order? Can you not order pizza? I'm pretty sure. I thought you could. Delivery. Ah, uh, yeah. We can order takeout too, right? Like Chinese takeout? Chinese food. Yeah. Okay, let's order Chinese food. Somebody bring that back to The Sims 4. That is so cool. Would you like to order some Chinese food? It will cost you $30. Yeah, sure. We got the money. He's feeling like a mo Mr. Moneybags. Um, okay, good. So, Dina, Nina. Oh, my God. I get them so mixed up. It's so confusing. I wish I could change their names. Um, but let's have him. He, why does he keep getting dirty? He's taking about three showers today. Probably because he keeps splashing around in puddles outside. But anyways, y'all. I'm just. I'm just trying to, to waste some time, get them ready to be parents. These two have so much growing up to do. I mean, he's Mr. Casanova, can't keep it in his pants. At least he does have a good job, but Nina, she's kind of, like, worthless. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but she has, like, no skills whatsoever. Oh, it's Cassandra. Okay, let's have... Is she coming to visit us? I was about to say. It's a little awkward, don't you think? Well, no, because, yeah, she is actually friends with, oh, that'd be awkward for Dawn. Let's, oh, we're, yeah, we're doing it. We're just going to make it awkward. Yeah, you come out here and greet Cassandra, and you, she can just stay for dinner. All right, so Nina is absolutely struggling. Her skills, I guess, being pregnant just is, is taking a toll on her body, and Cassandra is up here freaking chilling in the hot tub by herself i'm pretty sure she was up here while it was raining but you know what he's a little sleepy but i think he has some explaining to do he really hasn't talked to cassandra since he left her at the altar so i don't think that she would go there again but we know how he is so hopefully hopefully he wouldn't come on to her he needs to do the manly thing and apologize that's what i'm expecting him to do and intentionally um i wanted her to come over 
and hang out with Cassandra. I thought they were friends, but maybe not. But anyways, I'm going to have her come up here and go to sleep, and hopefully she'll have this baby soon. But yeah, let's have these two kind of just talk, um, and he's just apologizing to her, you know, sorry, uh, you know, it just, obviously, uh, <laughs> There was a lot behind closed doors you didn't know about, considering I was in about four other relationships. Uh, but, I, I'm happy for you. You're happy. You have a beautiful baby. And, you know, I have a baby on the way. And maybe they can be friends. And Cassandra's like, you know what? You're a prick. You pissed me off. I wasn't happy. You broke my heart. But I'm happier than ever. And if, you know, that wouldn't have happened, I probably wouldn't be as happy as I am now. So, we can let it go. And we can be friends. I am just... Look at all my sims. They're just being mature adults. I love it. <laughs> all right, guys. But I'm going to probably have him get on out of here, say goodbye to her, and then go to sleep. And then hopefully we'll have a baby in the morning. Okay. So, this little twat, pretty sure she's, she's the one that keeps doing this. I, I'm pissed off about it. I, I'm not I'm not taking it no more. So, I'm going to have them... them them have a little a little conversation I don't want things to get physical because they're pregnant and I'm not about pregnant women fighting but but this is this is uncalled for so I'm just gonna argue with her a little bit and tell her I don't appreciate her coming over here and trying to ruin my life all right look Dina, you got you got the old man with the money, you got a nice house, and you have a baby coming. You're you're set for life. Why why do you all why do you always have to have or want what I what I have, what I want, what I have? You know, you and Don are not gonna work. Whatever was there, it's over. So leave it alone. <laughs> I really want them to like fight. <laughs> I'm just gonna have them keep keep arguing. Alright, so they argued for about an hour, and now she's saying, leave the premises, leave my house, and please stop coming onto my property, or it's going to get physical. I won't be this kind next time. <laughs> Look at them waddling. <laughs> oh my god, I can't, I can't. It's so funny. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that Don does have work today, or tonight. Yes, he works from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. So I had him working on his skills, and right now it looks like he's trying to get his fun up a little bit. And I'm going to have Nina come over here and make some lunch meat sandwiches for lunch because that's all she knows how to cook, hoping it'll give her a little skill boost and... You know, she's just, they both have a lot of learning to do. They got a baby on the way. Oh, they're learning how to parent, y'all. And it's a struggle. I'm not sure why she's crying. I think she has the pregnancy hormones or she's just really bored and just really sleepy. And she's, I think it's just the hormones, you know. She is due to pop any second now. I'm surprised she hasn't yet because I feel like with Cassandra, it was so fast. And I feel like it's taken a little bit longer with Nina um, but hopefully, hopefully, before this part ends, we will have a baby. I'm going to have her just go watch TV for a little bit and then have her go to bed. And the carpool for Dawn just said that it would arrive in about an hour. So, you know, he'll probably be gone to work when the baby's born. Usually, it's my luck. You know, he's been waiting around all day, impressing her, you know, waiting on her hand and foot, helping her clean up around the house. And this minute he leaves to go to work, I bet you a million bucks she's going to go into labor. But let's have him come over here and give her a tender little kiss because even though he has been helping her out today, he hasn't really been very romantic with her. Oh, is she... <gasps> Yay! Okay, so she is going to labor, but he's like, deuces, gotta go. <laughs> ah, I'll see you at the hospital, but... <laughs> I love, <coughs> I'm, cho I'm choking.
It's a girl! Yay, I'm so happy. Okay, so I think I want to name her Olivia. Olivia. And... Oh, oh you're just going to put her down on the floor. Yes, y'all definitely have a lot of learning to do. A lot of parent... We need to take some, like, parenting classes. But real quick, before we end this part, let's go ahead and and get the nursery ready let's pick the baby up okay i know you're super tired but let's make sure the baby is taken care of um let's maybe feed a bottle to the baby and then put her in the crib and then we'll go ahead and put you to sleep because honestly i know you really are tired i feel for you i really do but yeah here's the nursery not much to it but i do love the freaking changing tables in the freaking sims 2 i want to bring them back there's so many things in the sims 2 that i want to bring back to the sims 4 but yeah i guess we're just gonna let her put the baby in the crib hopefully yes go put her in the crib and then we're gonna have her go to sleep because she's exhausted and i guess don's just he'll be here when he when he gets here he's working making the money didn't want to be here when the baby was born that's fine. That's cool. She's kind of pissed off about that. Don't worry. I would be too. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment everything you liked about it, all your suggestions, everything in the comments down below. Subscribe if you have not, and I will talk to y'all later.